Most people in life are looking at how do I make a life worth living in retirement with having. Most people have the right to do things that is for their own life. And most people have the right to decide who they're going to ask for their marvelous wife or husband, in some people's cases, like Master Pete in our American government. But what I'm talking about, of course, is not being facetious. What I'm talking about is what we have the rights to do as American citizens. And as American citizens, and those like my family, ensigns in America, who came pretty much on the Mayflower, and we have the books to prove it, is to take care of and entitle our own life and our own legal documents without any person in our biological family or any stranger in the marvelous sheriff department to fuck our records. Now, as you know, I've been very guttural in these videos, so what I did in the past to honor my state, to honor my community by teaching people Japanese or working on marketing projects for other small business owners is past. What I'm doing today is producing a Howard Stern-like video chat, audio cast, and openly a, toy, a, a term that I coined. And sometimes I might make a mistake because many of this and much of this is ad-libbing. Some of it might be considered channeling, which a lot of creative people do. They get their inspirations, and we cannot say that God didn't give it to them, too. Now, there are certain types of creative artists that we need to get rid of. That is truthful. They are debasing humans, they are defiling Americans, and they're destroying, well, possibly their bodies in the pursuit of classical art, not at all, but some sort of eclectic art of farting and whatnot that, no offense, that's just not something I'm going to pay for. And if people pay for it, you really have to wonder about them, don't you? But that could be considered judgment as opposed to an evaluation of the use of time. You see, in America, we spent a lot of time during World War I and World War II moving our entire country forward, moving our faith forward in a way that said we're going to love people with kindness, we're going to create peace in America, and we have the right to personal safety. But there seems to be a bunch of players in this hood here in Champaign, Illinois, that are not listening to the American president say, hey, time of COVID, get your masks on if you can and a person like me with a deviate septum will wear one, but someone keeps stealing mine and then replacing it back with one that is not mine. And if they're questioning if I'm noticing it, of course I'm a college-educated person that actually has an incredibly high visual communication skill, which means I'm going to notice it's not mine. I'm going to feel on my face it's not mine because it doesn't fit me like it should. But what's also amazing and unreasonable is that mask that got stolen quite a while ago while I was at the university and trying to move myself into positions there has come back on me, of which I have to throw it away now because I don't know what you've done with it. And I don't appreciate that. Because I had about five or six matches, masks for my intimate relations, my personal family units, and my ability to take those masks and hand wash them just like my mama taught me to. But in truth, when we're dealing with people who just throw their masks down on the ground, like I've seen many times around this town, I'm made ill. Because I realize that the winds of this city and the winds of the, in, of the windy city, or the winds of Indy, or the winds of Canvas, or the winds of any place where the place is windy, might blow things out of the trash. But what I do feel is that America has to work on its recycling, and I talk about that. And maybe I'm not coming full circle in the purpose of this cast, but what I can tell you is that American citizens need to start aligning themselves with the present administration. Because that's what's going to be going forward for America for the next four years. And openly, it is our job as American citizens to align ourselves behind a leader. And that is our responsibility. It's not our job to piss on the American president's job for the next four years and then decide to do something different. It's our job to support our president overseas and domestically until we find that we need to do different. It's also time to retire people who lost the job because that's what we do in American business, in corporations, in small businesses. When a president leaves, it's time for it to be over with. Very rarely, and only on occasion, do we rehire someone from years ago to continue our corporations, our organizations, and our companies forward.